profesor Lourdes Sotaegui. Es profesora titular de Teoría de la Literatura en la Universidad del País Vasco, en la Facultad de Letras. Una especialista ampliamente reconocida en el campo de la literatura vasca y más específicamente en poesía vasca de los siglos XX y XXI. Eh, su presentación de hoy, titulada ¿Dónde está Basque's Harbor? But maybe in English now. <risa> Analiza los diversos modos en que la nación vasca ha sido representada o simbolizada en la poesía vasca del siglo XX y la evolución de dicha simbología. Eta, bueno, a vestir y a ver. Sure, Ada Itza, Milla Esker, Gure, Kine, Gote, Agatik. Where is the Basque's uh, Harbor? Is the title of my presentation. And it has a subtitle from the old heim, heimat to the space of conflict. Let me first uh, to expose briefly what we are going to talk about. The aim of this presentation is to get an approach to the literary representations of the Basque nation during the 20th, 20th century in order to highlight the current predominance of critical and conflicting uh, focusing on the Basque nation. And second, to give voice also to the other voices that are participating in the debate. With this uh, objective in mind, we are going to start with a theoretical introduction. And after that, we will comment first the uh, images that poetry of the Basque literature uh, has produced during the modern period and the images of the Basque nation in conflict in contemporary literature. After the creativity uh, around it was at its, at its peak, a poet called Lizardi created a renewed version of the tree and the orchard called Asaba Zaharren Baratza. The symbolic city of Guernica had been bombed and burned, and a long dictatorship was gripping Basque identity harshly. That's why Gabriel Aresti, the poet from Bilbao, represented the nation from its ruins. He represented himself as himself as a um, a person that gives a sword, an oath, that he would defend with his life our father's house. The strong representation that we have described up to now, after transition, has been repeatedly criticized by feminist writers that couldn't identify, identify themselves comfortably with father lineage of or parentage, as they saw it in it a condemned to patriarchalism. Uh, uh, some uh, theorists uh, have said that there is no doubt that there is a close intimacy between nation, national rhetoric and chauvinistic patriarchal sexist values. Starting from Amaya Lassa, since her first poems to Ichado Borda's poem, in the 60s and 70s, little by little, new concerns, new questions about the nation's conceptions will arise. One of the first voices uh, that questioned the view of the nation was Xavier Lete, uh, the, the poet and singer Xavier Lete, who was an important member of the Euskal Cantabaria. Lete's conception is based on a dynamic apprehension of territory because space always means perception and also the social and symbolic actions of human beings. Joseba Sarriona India. And uh, his uh, main poem is the translation of a classic English writer uh, Coleridge and his old mariner's rhyme. Sarayunandia calls the epic of embarkment and, and navigation. That's uh, a very a very present symbol in his literature. A last uh, mention to uh, another poet, Coldo Izaguirre, who, who, uh, who is actually the author 
of the line that entitles our conference, Where is Basque's Harbour? One of the fundamental elements in the thought of Izaguirre is the claim of historical memory, specifically linked to the civil war. The air raid against Guernica and the modern history of nationalism. So the question of Izaguirre is a question about the basis of the Basque nation, specifically in the critique of oblivion and forgetfulness of the past. Bernardo Achaga has also written an essay on Euskal Iria. Achaga proposes the Euskal Iria, a new nation, a concept exceeding the romantic idea of Heimat, which flourishes in direct relation with the Volk Geist. In conclusion, contemporary nation is presented as a discursive space of discussion and conflict. Different discourses, dialogue and discuss, and discuss arise. On one hand, those that stress the desire of coexistence, and on the other hand, those that remember the objective basis of nation. Nation is, after all, a complex, a complex concept, multiple, linked to many different factors, and immersed in a constant dialectical tension, a harbor for our political and social concern, as well as a feminist concern too. And I finished, thank you for being there and listening to me.